Hello, hello, hello there. This is Dr. Omolola Omotesho. And believe it or not, this is session seven in our Weight Loss Without Stress series. Yes, you can lose weight without stress. And I've been giving you the tips. If this is the first session you're watching, be sure to watch number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six because this is session seven in the series so today i want to employ you to set goals but don't just set any goal or ordinary goals make sure you set smart goals your goal must be specific your goal must be measurable your goal must be achievable your goal must be reasonable and it must be realistic Finally, your goal must be timed. It should be time-based. Don't just say, I want to lose weight. Say, I want to lose 5 kg in 3 months. I want to lose 10 kg in 6 months. Or 20. Be specific. Okay? Now, you need to draw up your routine. You need to draw up your schedule or your schedule. Okay? You need to do so. But don't draw up one month schedule. Don't draw up two months schedule it could become overwhelming just draw up a schedule for one week one week guess what if you succeed in complying for a whole seven days then you are on the road to more commitment but i'm going to ask you to do as well is at the end of the seven week uh, seven days review you would already know what to remove you would already know what to add for instance, if you're addicted to television, look for an accountability person or just time yourself. Say, okay, every day I'm going to watch television for just two hours. And while I'm watching it, I'm just going to drink water or I'm just going to drink mineral water. You know, I, I won't take carbonated drink. You need to set goals. Your accountability person could be the person that says to you, hey, you're just watching this TV without chewing anything. Because it's not like television is bad on its own. After all, you can watch entertainment, you can watch news, you can watch drama. But when you are sedentary, just sitting down doing nothing, you're laid back, you're weighed down, that is often the time you say, is there something to chew in this house? And of course, you go on chewing and chewing and you're not counting calories. So as much as possible, try not to just sit without purpose or sit and then chew away you know your plan to lose weight another thing you need to do is you need to draw up a diet why do you need to draw up a diet if you have a diet ahead you're able to buy your products or your produce in the appropriate place you know you want to make sure that you're buying organic or you're buying from a source that you know or a channel that you know if you don't draw it up ahead you for instance may not know that you need strawberries tomorrow or you need uh, berries or what have you so ensure that you draw up your diet ahead you can use some of the information i've shared with you you can use some of the things that have worked for you in time past be sure to include all classes of nutrients there are seven major classes of nutrients we have the carbohydrates we have the fats and oil we have the dietary fiber minerals proteins vitamins and of course we have your water make sure you take water you stay hydrated okay it helps a lot walking or jogging helps but you must schedule based on your heart rate and other activities you do during the day if you do a lot of stairs climbing already as part of your work try not to schedule any walk or jogging for the same day except you know what your limit is or what your maximum is is as far as walking or jogging is concerned because there have been reports of people dying while running or while even in the field of play maybe soccer you know maybe race maybe basketball there have been reports of people collapsing and dying so be sure that you're not exacting your part if you're using the treadmill or you're using any cardio equipment ensure that you follow the regulations ensure that you don't do more than your heart would allow you to do 
don't push yourself beyond don't push yourself to a point where you need hospitalization it is not what it's not worth it it's not okay if you go into a gym make sure you're working with a trainer or make sure you're working with a uh, physiotherapist why they help to set realistic goals for you and they guide and guard you to achieve those goals so you're not exact exerting yourself inappropriately there was a time that the only thing i did when i went to the gym was to just have a steam bath you know or yes going to the bath top to to steam or going to a sauna to just sit there and relax and guess what toxins will leave your body your skin will be able to breathe better better and you're able to you know breathe in and out also better because hey you've your skin has a lot of toxin has been removed from your skin and whether you believe it or not this helps with weight loss make sure you're doing what is right for your health for your blood group for your body type very very important if you're not able to get to a gym if you have a jacuzzi you can put in your essential oils your bath soap or make a bubble bath and just relax in it just relax in it when we are depressed or when you are depressed it is very very challenging to be able to lose weight also when you soak in a um, in a jacuzzi you're able to sleep better you're able to sleep better so take advantage of all these things don't just focus on gymming exercising and all that whatever you do be sure it will not affect you medically or physically ensure ensure that it is approved by your wellness specialist speak to one okay and make sure that it is based on your decisions are based on your health record that will be all for now the lord keep you the lord bless you the lord make his face to shine upon you now and always don't forget if you have been blessed why don't you invite other people to be blessed as well by subscribing and asking others to do the same bye see you some other time